As we come on the air, you're taking a look at a map showing locations where police are investigating robberies and assaults after the victims say they called an Uber. Hello, everybody. I'm Nikki Zizaza. And I'm Denise Koch. Welcome to those of you watching on CBS News Baltimore and on WJZ TV. Those robberies and assaults were reported in both Baltimore City and the county. And with ride sharing being such a popular way to get around, we know this is concerning for many of you. New at 7, WJZ is live in downtown Baltimore. Christina Mendez with what we're learning tonight. Christina. Nikki and Denise, from Baltimore City to the county, we know that police are investigating Uber rides gone very wrong. In all three separate incidents, people are using the app like normal to call an Uber, but instead are finding themselves in a robbery scenario. On Saturday, Baltimore police say the first victim was forced into the car at gunpoint near North Poppleton Street and was then driven to an ATM where the suspects demanded cash. The victim was then let go. In the early morning hours Monday, two more robberies, a second one in the city where investigators say a victim was picked up by an Uber at Horseshoe Casino. After leaving the area, a second car pulled up behind the Uber where the victim alleges a group of men with guns demanded their cell phone. One of the suspects is accused of hitting the victim in the face several times and was then freed. The last incident happening less than an hour later in Pikesville in Baltimore County. Mirroring the first incident, the victim was also taken against their will to ATMs to withdraw money. In a statement, Uber says that the safety of riders and drivers is paramount. In part writing, quote, we encourage riders and drivers to cancel trips if they don't feel safe and remind riders to always double check the details of their ride. Car make and model, driver name and photo, and license plate before getting in. People using this popular ride sharing service are left in shock over this happening. I really can't really imagine being in a situation like that. You're stuck in somebody's car. That's kind of like a horror story. That's like movie stuff right there. Police in both jurisdictions now are working to confirm whether all of these incidents are connected. As for Uber, they do tell us that they're working with law enforcement and are reminding drivers and also their riders that there's some safety measures that are in place through the app, including an emergency button. I'm reporting live from Baltimore tonight. I'm Christina Mendez for WJZ.